Um, how's everything? I know you got the new album coming out next Friday. Um, man, we're just reloading next Friday. Um, I'm in the mood right now, but you know, I'm supposed to be, man, I'm doing good, though, man. That's uh, good. I'm doing good mentally, you feel me? You happy? Oh, for sure, for sure. Definitely happy, man. Um, independent now, so. That's important. Yeah. I always felt like, you know, because I, for a while you were on, I forget which, what was the major label you've been putting stuff out with? Was it Capital Motown? Yeah, Capital Motown. Yeah. I always felt like you were kind of built for the independent shit. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. But at the same time, you know, um, throughout my 10-year run, I definitely don't saw every side of the sport, independent, uh, TIG, label, so. Yeah, because the thing it's a game, man, for people who don't know, there was like a point in time where you would kind of cooled off, but it was also because you weren't allowed to release for, music. For sure, for sure that, for sure that, yeah. So when I couldn't release music, man, you know, that just really put a dark cloud over my head, you know what I'm saying? Dark cloud where I couldn't record. I didn't even hear the radio, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, was it like a point in time where you felt like you might have been like kind of dealing with some depression or you just kind of were like uh, down in terms of just like you're just on the music industry in uh, general? I would just say depressed, bro. But coming from that situation, from the litigation where I couldn't drop, and that and watching your peers just go up, you know? It's so crazy, man, to think about that no matter how much money you got, you could be depressed. You can have vices. You could be damn near going to off yourself. You know what I'm saying? You could be happy and still have these vices. You'd be living your best fucking life and be rich, motherfucker, and still want to pop a pill and drink some lean. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy how that shit is, bro. R.I.P. Rich Homie Coin. You go up, you know what I mean? But I'm still doing shows and my heart just went in no more. Yeah. Man, so look, Rich Homie Quan passed away today. They say it was about between 2, 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. today, man. Uh, today is the opening day of the NFL. My Chiefs play today. So it's a, it's a weird day. It's a weird day for everybody in my city. I know that for damn sure, bro. Everybody was just happy as hell that the Chiefs was playing this morning. And now everybody like, damn, what's shaking? What's going on? Rich Homie Quan that overdosed? What? Shit crazy, man. But, like, one thing I got to say to everybody out there, bro, if y'all, I don't care what y'all going through, man. I don't care how hard life gets for y'all, bro. There's always some type of sunshine. There's always some type of light at the end of that motherfucking tongue, bro. No cap. If y'all don't believe in God, I don't care if you do believe in God. If you do believe in God, man, pray to God, man. Make sure you talk to your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If you do not believe in God, bro. There's always light at the end of the fucking tunnel. It's all mental, man. Whatever game y'all got going on, it's all mental, bro. You do not need that meth. You do not need that pill. You do not need the lean. I'm going to be real. I'm a weed smoker. I don't drink alcohol. I'm not a big alcohol consumer. I'm a weed smoker. You know what I'm saying? Everybody have their vices, bro. Whether it's fucking weed, pills, lean, alcohol, masturbation, motherfucking the gym, coffee. Caffeine, I don't care what, bro. Everybody has they, they vice, bro. Everybody has a vice. But it just so happened, a lot of people be choosing a very, very strong ass vice. Y'all don't have to go that route, man. I ain't gonna lie. You do not have to go that route. There's so many other vices y'all could do. There, drink some alcohol. Save your life a little bit. Smoke some weed. Just calm yourself a little bit. There's all types of different types of strands of weed out here. It's all different types of waxes, mushrooms. Man, save your life a little bit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot. I see a lot of people out here hitting whippets. What the fuck? What are y'all doing hitting nitrous oxide, gang? We put this stuff in our cars. What is y'all hitting nitrous oxide for, gang? Y'all know what that's gonna have long term effects to your body, bro. Y'all watch it, real Tommy Kwan. We don't even know what he passed off of. It could have been a whippet, huh? It could have been a whippet, don't. No cap. Bro, just everybody out there, bro, if y'all got a vice, make sure it's a safe vice. Make sure if y'all doing the weed or alcohol, make sure y'all consume it safely, man. This is all medicinal shit that we talking about here. Alcohol is man-made, pills is man-made, all that other shit is, you know what I'm saying? Stay safe, man. Make sure y'all keep a strong-ass mindset. Make sure y'all pray, man. Make sure y'all be around people that 
keep you happy and keep you joyful, man. Because this life shit is short. No cap. RP Rich Homie Corner, man. Did a lot of shit just to live this here lifestyle. <laughs>